Today, but what I would say on the reparation that we are going before communicating with quite a few congressmen there in Washington, D.C. And I noticed that the local office in the different states, when I go to them in the cities, they say, if you send whatever you send to us, it goes to the main office. So we sending everything to the main office and I'm working with some of the congressmen, people there to set up a meeting there for us uh, there in, uh, in uh, June. So hoping that we will get them to not only help support reparation, but to sponsor this movement of reparation because they are, they are able to do that. Uh, what I would like to say, I, I want to say to the Oscar Grant family, and I want to thank God for Minister Keith Mohammed. Uh, let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you. so hard in the community here for years. I mean, you know, this ain't not he, he ain't no just no late come up. And you can hear him talk. You, you realize that. Okay, the man is, is powerful, well knowledgeable, and he's a God sent man. You know, um, there is so much going on now until we just can't bring out everything that's going on. But one of the things that we need to do and in the, our communities, uh, in our city we need to monitor the police as much as we can, make notes of things, because there's a big tax right now on the community of minorities by the police. Uh, you know, uh, when, uh, I just like to say quickly, when Patty Hearst was kidnapped, every black person in San Francisco was jacked up. You know, you know what I mean? Jack up Willie Brown right downtown and everything. He looked like Sam Q to them. You know, I ain't never seen a black man look like Sam Q. And, and, and you know, the FBI has come up in my house. You, you know what I mean? We saw somebody in the window that looked like Sam Q. You, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 you know. Now, uh, what I want to say right now is that out in our community now, there is a big type. They're just jacking up blacks and other minorities. I mean, going and coming, you know. A lot of for no reason, because a lot of my family and friends have been jacked for, for nothing. And then you have to be careful when you, if you pull over, you have to make sure somebody watch the police and when they go in your car to look upon the seat or whatever. Because what they would do, they would plant stuff on you. They will plant drugs. They will put a gun down on you. Okay, the police have guns. They call throwaways. A lot of people don't know that. And a lot of these people out here, in the last few weeks, there's been a lot of people shot and killed by the police. They said they pull a knife. And how many people you think gonna pull a knife on a police when he got a gun on you and you gonna pull a knife on him? Now, this is how they get away by murdering a lot of our minorities, blacks and other minorities out here. By, the, by all this in game and, and all this junk come on TV by the police. He charged the police, he was doing this. Wasn't nobody there to witness. They didn't have no camera there like they did for Oscar Grant. But there's a lot of murder in going on right now by the police. And they're jacking you up left and right. I just want to say that. And I want y'all, I thank God for all of y'all here. And I just can't say some of the things I would like to say, but I love you. 